money. Everyone wants money. Which is why in today's video I'm going to be going over three money making methods that can make you a bunch of money and going over how good they actually are. Because unless you're Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos, you, you, you need money. That's, that's just how it is. So, let's get into it. Another update has been out for a while, but there is still a bunch of money making methods that have to do with the nether update. Some of these require a bunch of items including Hyperions and, and a bunch of stuff. Other of these methods only require like 5 million coins. So you can be broke as shit and homeless and still do this. Now with the nether update, they added new attribute shards. Attribute shards are new things that go on nether only items. However, it is a pain because they are so unorganized. As you can see, you can't find it. If I wanted to find like random thing i'd have to actually go look for it because they're so disorganized like more to set organized in your room you can make so much profit because people will put up items that are worth a lot of money for like nothing whatsoever as we can see i just tried to buy a life regen for like 100 for 50k if you go and find the lowest life regen book right now this life regen book is 800k i mean if i was able to get my hands on that i would have made a 700,000 coin profit right there it's crazy because people just don't know what these are worth. So very simply, all you do is, as long as you know what the prices are worth, you just record them down and generally know what's worth what. You just browse through this and buy anything worth not as much money. For example, I know lifelines are usually around 400 to 600 k Literally while recording this video, while explaining how it works, I've made around a million coins, which is insane. So I highly, highly recommend just going and flipping actual charts. Before you even start, just take a mental list or write it down how much each item is generally worth. Now, of course, when attribute flipping, you have a chance to find a super rare item that if you buy this, you can sell for like 5 million coins. It is the subscribe button. Subscribe, like on today's video. I had to do it. Let's get back into it. I'm going to do this for 10 minutes and I'll cut back and I'll show you how much stuff we've actually made. Because it's absolutely crazy. All right, you mateys. So from buying a bunch of shiny blue shit, we made a bunch of profit. In total, we bought 10 shiny blue things. The double hooks go for around 400,000 doubloons per, gold per. Lifelines go for 475k per with a pretty good steal. Mana pools go for 1.7 million coins per, super nice. And ignition, there's none on the age, but they usually go for around 1 to 2 million coins per. By far my biggest steal was the mana pool, which I bought for 100k. That's like stealing a penny from a poor kid and then turning it into like 5 bucks. It's super good. So, mana pool flip, that made me a large portion of money. But in total for selling, if I sell all of these at low spin, I'd be making around 7 million coins. And you can do this for a while before your age gets full. For example, I could combine up these lifelines into lifeline tier 3s if I really wanted to in level and tier 2s to just save inventory space. So you can do this for around 10 to 15 minutes before you actually, you know, become full and you can't put any more on the age and have to wait for them to sell. So just know what the price of each item is worth. If you know what the price of each item is worth or not for attribute charges, you make big, big banks. You make more racks than Jeff Bezos. And as long as you sign a prenup, you won't have to give half it to your wife or husband. Either way, let's go on to the next method. Now we get to the more tried and true money making methods. Murdering helpless animals. I know. It always works. There's always a money making method for murdering helpless animals. It's great. Now, also in another, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of mobs as we can see. And each different mob drops a different item into your sack. So we can see we have a bunch of different ones. But so the two things we're gonna be looking at is um, the mycelium red sand collection. Also, thing that bugs the living hell out of me. Mycelium is in mining collection here, okay? Mining collection. Same with red sand in mining collection. If you go to slash bazaar and go to the mining collection, red sand is here, but mycelium's not. It's in the farming collection and requires farming fortune to mine. Why the hell is it in the mining section if mining fortune doesn't do shit to it? And it's in the farming section of bazaar. That annoys me beyond belief. But both of those can craft you two different pets. The snail pet, which makes you slow, I know, it's insane. The snail pet makes you slow? What? No way. And then the mushroom pet. What it does is it gives you, makes it so mushroom and mycelium minions work faster. It makes it so there's a 100% chance a mushroom will drop when breaking crops. And you gain one forming fortune for every 20 strength. Both of these um, slave pet thingies are goog. Very goog. 
in order to craft them, they are both found in the collections, and you need you need eggs, whatever the enchanted version of that stuff is, and items, either digested mushrooms or burning eyes. Burning eyes are dropped from the, the burning spiders. I really don't think that part's complicated. And I'm willing to bet you can guess where the mushroom digested crap is. Guess what? In the mushrooms. Wow, that's crazy. But it costs you two stacks of each in order to actually craft the pet. And pets usually, the epics go for around 1 to 4 million coins. The legendaries usually go for around 4 to 7 million coins. However, there's also something you can do where you can just upgrade the pets. Because the main limiting factor here is they don't actually cost you like any money. It's just the items you have to get. If I try to upgrade my Mushroom pet right here in Cat from Epic to Legendary, as we can see, it's going to cost me 30... 32 enchanted mycelium and 20 digested mushroom, which is a lot, lot less than it requires actually craft it up. If you were to buy an epic and transform into legendary, you make so much money. If you wanted to craft the damn thing, you need two whole stacks. So leveling up the pet and getting it is super good. So now I'm going to go uh, kill helpless animals for 10 minutes and I'll cut back as soon as we have the stuff. All right, so I just finished up my 10 minutes of grinding and i was able to get 44 digested mushrooms and 32 burning eyes now this is not enough to craft up a pet however it is enough to upgrade a epic to a legendary so i could so in one hour i could craft up six epic pets to legendaries and eight epic pets to legendaries for mushroom cow and snail respectively and this is a lot of money because upgrading pets like snails and mushroom cows make a lot of money. Now, here's the reason why. Let's take mushroom cow. 3.5 million coins. Upgraded version is 5 million coins. Now, the only thing I need to upgrade if I was to go and buy one. Which the only thing I need is going to be 190k. 32 inch of mycelium, which doesn't cost much. And then the digested mushrooms. And see, epic is 2 million coins and legendary is 5 million coins. So if I'm upgrading, we can make a total of... We can make around 20 to 22 million coins an hour by leveling up the pets. If we were to actually craft the pets, it would take us more, so that's a thing. But if we were to craft the pets, we would still make around 12 million coins an hour. So this is a super good method. I highly recommend you do. Alright, now that we're done crafting up babies and upgrading them, let's move on to the next method. Now for the last one. Murdering mobs. Not helpless mobs, just mobs at this point. Now, this one, you're probably going to be like, oh, well, yeah, no shit. It's frag running, yay, but how good actually is frag running still? Now, I'm going to be doing this two times, one with a Hyperion and one with a Juju. Optimize setups for both. We're going to see how long it takes me to clear runs using Juju versus Hype and how much coins we make. So, so let's get into the helpless slaughter of innocent mobs. Alrighty mates, so with a Hyperion and I did 4 runs in 10 minutes, it wasn't that great, I had to wait for cooldown one time, but I got 1.5 million coins from selling on my loot, I got a very very even run, I got 1 of each guy, I didn't get the drops 100% of the time, I got a very even run and I got 1.5 million coins in 10 minutes, this is around 9 million coins an hour, which is super super good with hype, in addition I also got a bunch of undead essence from salvaging the items, but now, how long is it going to take me to do without a Hyperion? Alright, so now it's time to test out Terror. For the setup, we have a Juju Shortbow. We have two Force Terror for the extra air. We have a Shadow Thousand Chestplate. And we have a Golden Necron Head. So, let's get into it. Alright, so I just finished clearing one with this setup, and I was able to clear it in around 2 minutes, compared to my usual 1 to 130 with Hyperion. So, this setup is not as good as Hype, shocker, but it's still super, super good for clearing blood. I recommend you use EHP Pet, 2 Force Terror, Necron Helm. Works really well, the setup's a whole, also a whole lot cheaper. Of course, you can always use Necron if you want to as well. 
But Juju does also work when doing frag running, and it can make you around 7 million coins an hour, no matter what gear you have. As you just saw how much money we made, and you can also see that Juju using Juju is not much worse than using Hyperion. Of course, Hyperion is better, I would be really surprised if it wasn't, but it is still super, super viable if you want to use Juju instead. The setup costs like a billion coins less, so using Juju with Terror or even just using Hyperion, both methods work really well, and yeah.